Hello and welcome. In this video, I will give an overview of the Event Calendar Maker Excel template. This template is available on inzara.blogspot.com and here is the URL to the specific page. You can also find a link under the Premium Solution sections on the right sidebar for Event Calendar Maker. This template is nothing but an Excel workbook that you can use to create your own customized event calendars with your own events. This template has been built and tested in Microsoft Excel 2007, 10, and 2013 for Windows. It has not been tested in the previous versions of Excel for Windows, and it is also not compatible with Mac versions of Excel. This is just a screenshot of one of the designs that you can create using this template. And I'm gonna just open the image. And I will also show you a few more designs that you can create using this template. And let's talk a little bit more about the features of this template. You can create 12 month calendars using this template. That means your calendar will have 12 months, but you can use this to start your calendar for any year after 1900. You can also start your calendar with any month of the year. For example, you can start in the middle of the year and it'll be 12 months from then. And you can also decide to start your week on any day of the week instead of Monday, you can also start from Tuesday or Wednesday or any of these seven days. There are six different calendar designs just we that we briefly saw. There are four 12 month designs, which means they will be printed in one page. All 12 months will be printed on one page. And then we also have two monthly designs where you have one month printed on each page, just like this, where you will have 12 pages totally. Those are the six calendar designs you can choose from. The template actually can accommodate 200 of your events. And it can handle single day events. It can also handle events that span across multiple days. And we will talk a little bit more about this later in this video. The template can handle recurring events. For example, uh, an event that will happen every week or an event that happens every month. You can also use this to handle events where, for example, you may say, I want this event to appear fourth Friday of every month. You can also use this to track events, which would be, for example, the last Friday of a month. Overall, thousand event instances can be tracked. As I said, you can have 200 events, but since each event can span multiple days, so for example, if an event which lasts five days, it is counted as five separate instances. So you can have thousand such instances on your 12 month calendar. Event dates will be highlighted on the calendars, as you can see here. In a couple of the designs, the event name also will be displayed on the calendar. You can categorize your events in up to 10 different event types. And we'll talk about this also later in the video. Each event type, you can give a different color and there are 15 color choices for you so you can choose from them. You can also inform the template which weekdays are actually non-working days or what you wanna consider that as weekends in your organization and they will be highlighted automatically in red font on the calendars. For example, in this sample, the Sundays are considered as weekends and then they are highlighted in red font. All the six designs are readily printable. You don't need to do anything to set them up. Uh, it's all ready to print. There are no macros or coding involved in this template. There are no security issues. They are completely built with just formulas and conditional formatting. You can purchase this template by clicking the link here and it will be directed to PayPal through eJunkie and then you will use your credit cards or your PayPal account to make the purchase. 
If there are any questions that you may come across about the purchase process, please email me. Now let's talk a little bit about how to use the template. And this blog post describes everything in detail, but I'm just gonna go and jump into the template so that we can see a quick demo. So I have opened the Event Calendar Maker template, and this is what it looks like. And I've opened it in 2010 version of Excel, but it should look the same in 2007 and 2013 as well. Let me use another file where I've actually entered more data about events so that it'll be easy to understand how the calendars are created. So I'm gonna to go to my sample file and exactly everything is the same except that I've actually entered data as you can see here so that we can easily follow the template. Now, you start with the home worksheet and there are totally eight different worksheets. And in the home worksheet, you, there are some basic instructions. It's relatively very simple. So you would just enter where you want your calendar to begin. So in this case, we have entered 2014. And then you would also say which month we should begin. And I've chosen January here. And you could also choose any month of the year. And you will also say when the weekday where the calendar should begin. For example, here we could choose Monday or I could go and change it to Wednesday, for example and you would give a name to your calendar because the name would be displayed when you print the calendars. That is all you have, and if you don't type in the right information here, there will be messages that pop up and say, please enter the correct value in the year, or if you leave them empty, there'll be a message popping up, but if you enter them correctly, they are blank. The next step is to go and enter the weekends or set the weekends. So we, you can consider weekends as days where you want to consider as non-working days in your organization. So for example, here I've used the all the Sundays and second and fourth Saturdays to be considered as weekends. For example, if I wanna change this, I would say no, or actually I can also just click there and then click the delete key in your keyboard and that'll remove it. So now only the second Saturdays will be considered as weekends. In this example, I have entered five different event types. You can actually enter up to 10, or you can leave it blank if you don't need 10. And you would choose color for each event type. Ideally, you would choose different colors for different event types if you want them to be displayed differently on the calendar. And there are 15 color choices available, and you can see how the colors are and you can make a decision on which color to use for each event type. And in this example, I've chosen these five colors. And the next step is to go, as, I, as it says here, we have, after we fill in the details in this sheet, we will go to the event sheet and then enter events. And actually, this is your last step of data entry. In this example, I have entered some data already in your template. It'll be blank when you begin. There are some brief instructions. I'm not gonna go into every one of those, but overall, you have to enter the event name, event type, and event start date. Those are required so that the event actually shows up on the calendar. In this case, I've entered some event names, and in the event type, this is a drop-down menu, and you will see the values depending on what you chose in the previous sheet here. And event type, please don't leave it blank because if you leave it blank, then Excel doesn't know what color to use. So it will not color the event on the calendar. Always enter the event start date so that Excel knows which date the event is gonna begin. And these fields are optional. So for example, if your event happens only on a single day, let's use Christmas, it's a holiday, 25th December. There's no end date, it just happens on a single day, which means you, there's no event end date, then you can just leave it blank, that's fine. If there are events where actually the event that spans multiple days, then you need to enter an event end date and Excel will automatically highlight all the dates in between on the calendar. 
those are the most commonly used um, event kinds, but there are also additional flexibility that this template brings. For example, if your event is a weekly recurring event, for example, here there is a weekly team meeting, and you can actually choose the frequency to be weekly. There are also other options. So when I choose weekly from 8th January to 10th December, 8th January happens to be a Wednesday. So what happens is I'm going to go and take a quick look at the calendar so that you can see how it is. On the calendar, you can see that 8th January, which is a Wednesday, is highlighted in purple, which is the color that we asked it to do. And every Wednesday in the year will be highlighted in purple. And that's how the weekly events are handled. You can also do monthly events. They have an example here, which is basically we pay the employees their salary on the first of every month. So I would just choose 1st January and then 31st December as the end. And I will just choose monthly as the frequency. And if I go back to my calendar, I can see that 1st of January, 1st of February, 1st of March, every 1st is highlighted in green because green dates are actually paydays. And that is how Excel is able to handle this one row of data that you entered has now been converted into 12 different dates on the calendar instantly. There are other options you have under the frequency. For example, you have the first weekday, second weekday and all that. And I'm gonna use this example here. We have chosen the second weekday and then Sunday because Mother's Day happens on the second Sunday of May every year. So it's not a set date. It actually happens depending on the weekday and also the nth weekday in May. So if, for example, I don't have Sunday selected here, let's say I'm gonna delete that, then the template is gonna tell you that there is an error. Because anytime when you select first weekday or second weekday all the way until last weekday, it needs to know which weekday. So you would have to choose from the weekday column one of those values and instantly the error disappears. Now, this is how you can choose nth weekday. And this is an example of choosing the last weekday where last Monday of May is actually a Memorial Day, and then fourth Thursday in November is Thanksgiving Day, for example. So you can have a lot of flexibility and a lot of control over selecting the dates without actually knowing the specific dates yourself. There is a notes column where you can enter the notes or any comments about the event for your reference. And the last column, is the validation column, and please don't modify this. This is where calculations happen to identify errors in your data. Uh, I have more description here. There can be error if, for example, you're starting your event in 2013, but that's going to be an error because your the event, um, the calendar is beginning in January 2014 because that's what we set here to begin with. And now if you enter a date, which is earlier than that, Excel will say that this is an error and there'll be a red border around your event. And then similarly, if you have the end date actually is, for example, in 2015, that is also an error because your calendar is looking only in 2014. And so you can also not have the end date happen before the start date. For example, if I say the end date is 2013, December 31st, but your start date is December, January 2014, so that's also not possible, so there is an error. Whenever there is an error, that event is not gonna be highlighted on the calendar, so it's very important that you pay attention to the red border and also the error message here, and go and fix the error, and you can use this as your reference to identify why there could be an error in your data. I'm going to put it back to where it was so that we get rid of the error. And now that we have entered the events, we could go to view the calendar and print them. That's it. So this is the only place where you come and enter the events and everything else is fully automated. And there are links at the top where you can choose from any of the designs or you can also click on any of these sheets 
to go directly to them either way i'm going to choose 12 month fund design first and then here's what the calendar looks like and you have all the 12 months in three rows of four months and then all the events are highlighted at the bottom you have colors to indicate the event type name that you have given and so all of this is automatically done you don't need to do anything different you can just um, select file and then print and this will open up the print preview and as you can see here it's all ready to be printed you can also save as and then save it as a pdf file if you would like and in this case for example i would just choose pdf and you can generate pdf documents i've already done in this case so i can show you how the pdfs are created so here's a pdf that i created out of this and nothing but just save as and pdf format and you're ready to go so everything is fully automated you're ready to print and use it for your purpose there's a name that you gave for the calendar all the dates and highlighted and the legend at the bottom and then there are some couple of rows where you can write some notes so this is one of the designs and the second month 12 month two design will actually be the one where you have all the events listed and you have the calendars on the left and at the bottom you have the legend for the event type so this is ideal if you have a lot of events and you want to list all of them in one page this is the best way to do it and let me go to the 12 month 3 design and this is a more i would call more modern than the previous version previous designs and you can have the this is the vertical uh, version of this and you have the name and then you have the dates each column here is a month and then you have 12 columns and then on the left you have the weekdays and at the bottom you have the legend as usual and i go to 12 month 4 and then this is a more horizontal design and you have the month here and there are 12 rows and then your event type legend is on the right side and please note that even though there are links at the top when you print them those are not included in the print so only the calendar gets printed. The next one is monthly one design. And this is a relatively more modern design, I would say, where you have the each month in a separate page and there are 12 different pages and you have the colors highlighted on the dates. The event name itself is not listed anywhere. You will only have the legend and the color, but the name of the event is not listed and you have 12 different pages for this. The last design we have is monthly two, and this is traditional design where you actually have the numbers for the dates, and also you have the event name listed directly on the calendar. So if you would like to view a monthly calendar where the event names are listed, this is the best design for you. And you can have up to five different events on a single day, and they will be listed with the appropriate color coding. And so this is the best design. If you want, if you have a lot of events and if you want them to be listed one month at a time uh, with the names on the calendar, then this is the best thing to do. And the legend of the event types, again, will be in the page as well. And each month in a different page, so there'll be 12 pages. So those are all the different designs and it's very easy, like I said, to just go and, you know, file print or export it to PDF and then print if you'd like, or you can email the PDF um, within your organization if you'd like. So that is all you have to do in the template. Just a quick recap. There's some information you need to enter here, and then you go and enter your events in the events. Make sure that there are no errors, and then you can choose from any of the six designs. Just to wrap this up, this is the event calendar maker Excel template, and you can find this on inzara.blogspot.com and the link would be on the right sidebar under premium solutions. And you should be able to purchase this template using the buy now button here. If there are any questions about the template, please feel free to reach out to me and you can contact me by my email or you can drop a note in the contact form here on the blog. Thank you very much for watching the video.